Hi guys, welcome back. We've come up with a nice little drone hack that will allow you to stream from any controller that has a HDMI output to any spare device you might have lying around without any long HDMI cables attached to external monitors. Here's how. All right, first thing you're gonna need is the DJI RavenEye. Now this is a really cool little device which allows you to stream HD footage via Wi-Fi from this device straight to another device using the HDMI output from any of your DJI controllers that have a HDMI output. Right, so that's what you're gonna need, the RavenEye, a controller with HDMI, and a spare device. And last thing you're gonna need is these 3M dual lock Velcro strips to be able to attach your RavenEye to the controller for a minimalistic setup. So first thing you wanna do is set up your spare device with the Ronin app to be able to access the footage. Download the Ronin app. You might not actually find it on the Android app store. You need to find it via the web. Once you have installed the app, you wanna turn off Bluetooth and make sure your Wi-Fi is on. Next thing you wanna do is then turn on the RavenEye, just two taps like most of the DJI products, and then connect the HDMI, the mini HDMI, to the HDMI on the Raven, and then the other HDMI, depending on if it's um, large or mini, into the controller. So now you're going to go into your device settings, turn off Bluetooth, and then go into Wi-Fi, and if the RavenEye is on, it should appear in your networks. So then click on the RavenEye, and then if it's the first time actually accessing it, it might ask you for an authorization code. That is just usually the very difficult password of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once that is done, exit out of your settings, and then go into the Ronin app, and then boom, we're now connected to the controller. So basically anything that the controller sees, this will now see. And as you can see, no HDMI connected to it, but there is one connected to this. So how are we gonna solve this? Well, that is what this dual lock is for. We're gonna connect one of them to the Ronin and then the other one to the base of the controller, like so. How good is that? Now we've got a really nice clean way to get HDMI output footage from any controller with a HDMI output to any spare device you might have lying around that you can take on, give this to the client, and they're not gonna be looking over your shoulder anymore or tripping over any HDMI cable. So easy as that. 